Hey everybody, Maggie Massey here for Studio Caligo and today I am sharing just a couple pages that I have set up in my planner uh, using the brand new Studio Calico Planner Kit. This is the July Planner Kit, the very first planner kit that Studio Calico has put out and I'm so excited to share with you what I have used in order to get my week ready. Now just a couple little things before I begin. Um, I use my Heidi Swap Memory Planner uh, as my basic everyday planner. Um, I write all of our appointments in here. I write um, kids' baseball games, uh, things that we have planned. That's where everything goes in this planner. I also use it um, as sort of a way to project life the everyday. Um, I will write little snippets in uh, these larger spaces in my planner, um, little things that we do every day. Um, and I use this side part, this little side area, to you to make like a bullet list of the things that we need to do. I will also use this um, to add cards and invitations to. It was my son's 10th birthday and I put the cards that he received in here. And at the end of um, every month or every two months, I will take everything out and I will um, put what I have taken out, put the entire month into a binder, into a separate binder, or I will bind the months individually, and that will be my project life for the month. I add small little pictures in here every once in a while. I have not done so many for um, June, only because I also have a summer mini album that I'm using or a summer notebook and I, that's where I'm pretty much adding our everyday pictures and uh, our everyday stories into that. So for now I'm using this mainly as just my planner. And okay so what I do is I prepare my planner for the week ahead on Sunday night and I will sit down with a bunch of uh, planner stuff and I'll sit down in front of the TV with my husband and I will just go through um, and figure out exactly what needs to be done day to day. So that's what I've done here. This is actually my spread for the first week in July. I know that by the time you guys see this it's going to be a little later in the month but um, this is what I did. Uh, actually today is June 30th so I am getting got this all ready for our next week and let me walk you through how I used a couple of the things in the new Studio Calico Planner Kit. First, let me show you. These are the main components of the, of the July kit. So it comes with this awesome little dot gold washi tape. It's just a thin tape. It also comes with this wider tape that can be cut apart and used in your planner or you can just use strips of it. Also comes with, let me get that all wound up, these darling little hearts that you can use. I've used them, I'll show you, I'll show you how I use them in just a second, but I use these as little bullets for my um, to-do list. And it comes with these little circular washi um, sticker icon yeah and what I love about these is that the awesome thing about washi tape is that you can pull it up and put it back down and pull it up and put it back down it's not like a sticker you know that's gonna grab onto the paper underneath and you can never remove it I love these because nine times out of ten I put them in a place that I have second thoughts about or I'll put them on crooked and it's so awesome that I can just pick them back up and put them right back down so this came in the set as well and these fantastic little sticky notes that are adorable number one because they're so small and number two they're really thick they're really neat um, let me just take off a little banner you get a stack of each of these designs and each of these colors and it's fantastic because this paper is it's thick. You can actually write on it and not worry about anything bleeding through or you can use your stamps on it. You don't have to worry about anything getting through to the other side. Okay, so that was another thing that came in there. And this stamp set, 
that is perfect for your planner. It's got small little icons, which I love. That little um, light bulb is adorable. And a tiny little fork and knife, but this is perfect. This is really all you need for the entire week to, uh, to get your planner prepared. Also came with this little dashboard. It's this piece of transparency that I've turned into a dashboard, and I'll show you what I've done with this in just a second. Okay, um, let's get started, and I'll show you what I did for my week. I'm going to take this out for now, and actually I'll talk about this first. This piece of um, transparent paper is a little thick. It's like a regular transparency that you get. And I used um, my hole punch that coordinates with the Heidi Swap Planner just to punch holes, and I added that right into my planner to use as a dashboard. Um, then I took some of the washi tape that came in the kit, and I've added it just here, just strips, right on top of the dashboard. Again, the washi tape is awesome because it comes off of itself easily. It comes off of the transparency easily. So if I have this out of the house and I don't have, you know, this is this is kind of a big bulky thing to carry around. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, lie nicely and lie, lie flat in your binder or in your um, planner. So it's nice to be able to just take a few strips, add them right onto your dashboard here, and then when I need them, I can pull them right off and use them in my planner. So that's what I did with this uh, with this dashboard here. Okay, we'll put that to the side for now. And I used this small little gold washi tape just to highlight a couple of the days of, um, of my week. Here, July 1st, now that is tomorrow. That is Studio Calico's new reveal day, yay! So I took a piece of the washi and just cut it down. And um, I like the way that looks. It's nice and flat. And what's neat about this washi too is you can write right over it. And and it won't smear, it won't smudge. And I used some, um, I added the stars in here, added um, these tiny little heart stickers. See, I used them just to kind of make a bullet list of what needs to be done on Thursday. I love these icon stickers. I've got a thing I found in this notebook for adding these little circles to this dividing line between my to-do lists and my everyday story or you know the stuff that I'll journal about every day and they fit in here perfectly and there are so many different icons that you can use and I feel like I've been using these things forever and I still have so many left oh and I wanted to point out I've punched holes in here I saw this Candy Billman did this and I that I saw on Instagram her handle is Philo Eye Candy and she, I mean, how genius is this? She just punched holes in them so she could add them right to her planner. I think that's such a great idea. And it's one of those, why didn't I think of that ideas? Okay, so moving on. I um, added a picture in here. I just thought this picture of two of my kids was silly and cute. So um, I added that into my planner, again, with some icons. We actually leave for vacation in a couple days. So I put that in here, and let me show you, these pieces are actually from the, um, the scrapbook kits, the July scrapbook kits, the fairground kits. But I made a huge mistake that I hated underneath there. I tried to write something and it just looked really bad, so I covered it up. So those are from the scrapbook kits. But then I went back and added in a few of these sticky notes to the top, I added the date that I took the photo, added the time that we're leaving, um, come over to the next page and I did the same thing. Over here, I wrote the word celebrate for the 4th of July and I highlighted this day with my washi tape. And that's what I like kind of about this, um, this really thin washi tape is that you can use it to highlight days or dates and you don't have this giant design on your page. Um, I like that. It, I was able to use it here with no trouble at all and it fits right in there perfectly. I um, added another little banner here just because, you know, just for decoration. I thought it was super cute. And some more um, of the icon stickers here, plus a few of the, few more of the heart stickers. I also went back, when I had originally done um, this July 1st and reveal, I had added 
I had my hot pink Sharpie near me, and so I just added a few dots in here. Well, then I went back over both pages and drew in a few more dots. I thought they just made it look kind of festive. And now that I'm looking at it, it almost makes it look like something spilled on here. <laughs> but I, th I like them. I think that they're cute, and I like them up that dividing line. So I added in a few more stamps and these icon stamps that I think are so fantastic. You know, I tried when I first set up my planner to do different colors for each of the kids or different colors for each of the activities we had to do. Um, you know, grocery shopping was orange and my son gray was, I used blue for him and I used for my daughter uh, pink and for my other son I used um, green. I had a really hard time keeping up with that. So I've gone back to just all gray and I use this clean slate for all my stamping in here. It's, it's easier for me to read the words than it is just to look at the color and know that something's going on. So that's what I did. All my stamping is in gray. Um, added family time here. Kind of a mishmash, but I was able to get so much decoration on my two pages with just a few pens and everything that came in the kit and look at how much stuff I still have left. Now you can do your entire month with this kit. I still have so much left over. I mean, that's awesome. I love when I see that and when I can actually go back. Or if I make a mistake, I've got plenty of stuff left over so that I can go back and, and correct my error. And stamp sets. We always love stamp sets, right? Especially with these darling little, darling little phrases and icons on them. So let's see. We're going to put my dashboard back in here. We'll get all ready. And look at that. We're all done. I'm all ready for the week ahead. I've got totally decorated my week and look at the amount of space that my supplies take up. I mean that can fit right in my planner except for this washi and remember I put that on my dashboard but everything else fits right in my pockets. I'm all set to go and that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed taking a little peek inside the beginning of uh, my July planner and thanks so much for being here. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.